Huh. Someone made a little bridge from. Whoa! Nearly broke the bridge. Almost broke the bridge. Ah, thank you for whoever made that. What's up guys, welcome back to Gresh Fishing. In today's video, we're gonna be fishing this beautiful spot. Look at that. Stunning. Gonna see if we can't get some whiting, tailor, trevally, whatever bites. Let's go. Oh, damn it. Some people are in here. Oh, soldier crabs. Haven't seen these guys in a while. Pretty big ones too. Oh, heaps of them. Really good bait. If you're a bait fisherman. I'm not a bait fisherman. I don't like using those things, but if you're a bait fisherman, they're a very good um very good bait for all your fishing. Oh, it's a bit choppier than I want it to be. Could have liked it to be a little bit less choppy. Water's not too clear either because um, just had the floods and everything. Oh, another lot of floods. Holy crap, this little cast a mile. It's got a very nice rattle sound to it too. So you know when it's working and when it's not working. I can't even see the thing, I can just hear it. <sighs> but yeah, just gonna go for whatever bites. Bites, oh, I'm already on. What is that? A whiting. Literally first cast. How about that? And the brand new death dog. <laughs> Let's get him in the shore and I'll give you a look at him. Literally first cast, brand new death dog. Got that little whiting. I just got down here. Literally first cast. What an amazing lure. All right, let's keep fishing. Let's hopefully get a bigger one. There you go, guys. First little fish, little death dog. Swim off. See you later, buddy. Wow. That was literally first cast, just got down here, took my crocs off, put them in some water on that little death bait. Literally just picked up from missing it. See. Well, I wasn't expecting a fish first cast. I was literally just about to speed wind that thing in and the whiting took it. Holy shit, that is a huge stingray. Where was that before? I was literally here two seconds ago. That is the longest tail ever. Alright, for those who don't know, I am shit scared of stingrays. And that guy just showing up then absolutely made me poop my pants. Holy crap. So the sand flats are a very good spot to get a bunch of fish, a bunch of whiting, flathead, brim, and everything like that. But it's also home to some of the biggest stingrays I have ever seen so uh, don't normally like going the sand flats on foot just because the stingrays are everywhere hopefully we don't see too many more of those guys oh I've got more whiting on it on wow second cast that is nuts <laughs> second cast <laughs> this is nuts. Oh, if I was live baiting tonight, these would be the most perfect size um, whiting. I literally just got that fish off. I was right there, just got that fish off, straight onto another one. Wow. There it is, there, guys. Another whiting on the death dog. Wow. So far, this bull is working super well. Got him on this massive log. This is kind of where I parked up. Yeah. How about that? Second cast. Another fish. Wow. Well, there you go, guys. Another beautiful small whiting. Just taking on that top water. Literally second cast. I got one first cast. That was second cast. Beautiful. 
After just getting shit scared by a stingray. See you later, bud. There he goes. Whoa. Oh, that's a better whiting. That's a good whiting. Wow. Yeah, very silly me. Didn't bring a brag mat, but oh well. This guy's going to go about oh, close to 40, I reckon. So that missing at sea, death dog. Look at that, that's another beautiful whiting. Literally, what? I had a dud cast, and then the next cast, got another whiting. Just on that beer prawn colour. How cool. Alright, we're gonna get this guy off and back in the drink. Let's go. There you go, guys. Another beautiful whiting. Gonna send him in the drink. He's a lot bigger than all the others we've got so far. Oh, literally fish after fish. I'm gonna get tired of walking back in the shore. I'm just using my, for those that don't know, I'm just using my little twin power that I normally use. Little 2,500 size. Got a uh, bit of braid, bit of leader. I've got 12 pound um, uh, mono on, just in case there's a bit bigger of a fish. It's got a very nice rattle, this lure, which I reckon is attracting all the fish. Oh, I got another whiting after it. Very small butt. Follow it right to my feet. Yeah, look at that thing. Whoa. Wow. It's got a very nice action to it. Oh, no, nah, I dropped him. It's alright. They usually come in packs. Sure, another one is chasing it right now. Yep, another small one. Chase it right in the shore. So yeah, it just takes a little bit of coordination to use this lure. A bit of winding, a bit of twitching at the same time. Oh, it's getting smoked. Now the thing with these whiting is, if you, as soon as you stop moving the lure, they'll stop wanting to eat it. So you got to keep that lure moving at all times. Which is why this lure is so good, because it's got a really nice dart to side to side action. Which is really firing up these whiting. Oh, there's another one on it. Another small one. Oh, you missed it. Oh, you had it. Oh, the hook's that guy. I don't think he's gonna come back. But yeah, hit after hit on this little death dog. I think it's a 60 mil little lure. Yeah, 60 mil, five grams. Got that ball bearing, make it cast super far. Oh, massive. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. Wow. I don't know what's got these whiting fired up so much this afternoon, but they're just absolutely fired up. It's currently 3.25. Low tide's at like four, 5 o'clock, so I've got a little bit of messing around with the whiting before the good spot pops up. Got another big whiting following it. I'm going to take it right up my feet, I reckon. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, oh, he popped off. He ran straight at my feet. Wow. <laughs> this thing is killing it right now. Wow. Absolutely epic. Usually these um, whiting are a really clear water sort of fish. They like the clear water. But today the water is really murky and it doesn't seem to turn them off at all. Big lob out. Oh. Big whiting getting chased by stuff, I reckon. Big flathead would have just chased it off his little spot. 
Another good one. There you go, guys. Another beautiful whiting. And he's off. Wow. I did not expect this afternoon. First thing to happen get a death dog and just catch fish. Wow. These fish are going absolutely nuts for this death dog. Just the perfect size this afternoon. Got a really nice cast, so I can get it out really far, so I can cover, cover heaps of zone before it comes back in. But yeah, if you just head into Missing at Sea, literally get this lure and then head to the flats because they're ready for it right out of the packet. You might want to upgrade some hooks if you want to go for mangrove jacks or something like that, but straight out of the packet, super good for the whiting. Doesn't like being used against current. Good to know. So you learn all these new things with, when, with new lures. Wow. That was a good hit. That's a bigger fish, actually. It's much bigger than what we've been getting. Oh, it's a brim. Oh. Brim off the flats. There you go. This lure doesn't just work for um, whiting. They work for brimbos as well. Let's just walk this guy back in. There you go guys, beautiful brim. Just on that new missing at sea death bait. So far we've only been catching the littler fish, but hopefully with a bit more time and that tide starts to flow, we can hook up to some bigger fish. Let's get this guy on the way. Oh, some corn. I didn't even get to watch that guy go, I don't think. Oh my god! Massive stingray just cruised past my leg. Jeet. Oh, there's a fair bit of rain coming actually. I am spooking a lot of flathead. If I wasn't chasing whiting, I'd be going flathead. Oh, look at that nice rainbow just out in the distance. Hopefully I can get a whiting just at the edge of the rainbow. That's what's at the end of the rainbows. Not a pot of gold. This fish. Alrighty guys, I'm going to call this session there. What a session we have had. I'm going to call it because there's a, a bunch of rain coming. I'm on the tweed. I don't really get it. Don't really want to get caught by that. Sorry, I got distracted by the birds. But what a session we had. Little death dog going to do more videos on it soon and hopefully we can get some bigger fish but on that note hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like subscribe and follow me on Gresh Fishing on Instagram and we'll catch you in the next adventure well super glad I left I did pouring down a brain jeez